Well, my name is Jude, and I'm from Tales of Celia. And, uh, well, I have a very huge problem. Uh, you see, my, my uh, friend and party member, uh, Mila, uh, we went into our room, and she turned into a flushing. Uh, and I, I don't know how that happened, and uh, I don't know how to make her normal again. Um, so that's why I'm here. Oh, um, are, are you sure it's safe? Um, well, here. Be careful when you touch her. Be careful. Uh, well, and uh, then our baby is here too, from his of Celia. Uh, and, uh, well, ever since we got turned into a plushie, um, Tifo, I call him this guy, Tifo has turned silent. Yeah. Tifo doesn't what is this? Tifo doesn't talk anymore ever since Mila turned into a plushie. I wonder if it's somehow connected. I don't know at all. Um, but well, Elise is very sad and uh, we want to get Tifo back to normal too. Uh, so, well, Alvin is kind of babysitting Tifo, that's why Alvin is here. Hi, I'm Lily Goat Marcus, I'm still there too, and my problem is my clock. Turn into a makeup mirror! Uh, how, how did that happen? I have no idea. I think Celus never had something to do with it because I see him putting makeup on every goddamn morning. It takes hours and hours and he probably switch it up with his clock somehow because he hates me. I don't know. Everyone hates me. I, I don't hate you. No, thank I, you. I think you're a very good guy. No, thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm Aspel Lange, and uh, my problem is that I that Landra is taking over my body more. So I was thinking about adopting him instead, like we did to Sophie. So I wonder how we could do that, and also how to be a parent. You adopt the fit the spine to kill you. He's kind of now. No. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you gotta just show them love. Aren't you a bit too young to be a parent? Or I don't know. No, I, I can handle this. Well, well, if you say so. <laughs> um, does anyone know how to solve our problems? Do you guys have any ideas or any questions? Well, uh, well, this is a group therapy, so if anyone has an idea how to solve our problems, just raise your hand or speak up. Uh, Maybe we can solve your problems. <laughs> we can have everyone. Does anyone have a problem? <laughs> it's interesting how so many of the problems are about one thing turning into another. Yeah. I'd like to research all of it. Yeah, but maybe you should focus on her for now. We really need to get her back to normal. She's kind of important. Where are you looking? I didn't know. Why would I? I, I don't know. Hello. Well, about your uh, room. Uh, I think it's a great idea uh, that you uh, research ruins. I mean, science is good. Science brings us forward. I, I don't really understand how it's a, how it's a problem. Well, sometimes the ruin is not really in the direction that we were going. Oh. Well, everything has said. Every, everything has to take its time. But it's kind of their fault for not sprouting. Oh, 
by the ruling. But you said that uh, your ruling research was public. Oh, your brother? My brother. Well, like I said, I don't think it's a problem, but uh, I don't know. I'm just a person. Well, I had a problem with my brother for some time, but the more we did things together, it kind of worked out. Maybe I should just spend more time with him. Well, we usually go well together. Maybe you can follow him on something he likes. Have you done that? I mean, we all work together, so... But I've been trying to do that specifically. Have you told him that research is what makes you happy and uh, that he should just, you know, let you be happy? In some manner of speaking, I think I did. But he still thinks it's a lot. Yeah. Well, some people don't really understand, like, the meaning of science and research and stuff. Mm. I mean, he's quite intelligent, too. So he should understand what he's saying. He says he is. Probably, yes. But anyway, um, I know you came here for therapy, but I think I think you researching ruins is a good thing. So do I. <laughs> well, but sometimes ruins can be dangerous. Like in my case, my, my friend turned into a slushy. What kind of ruin is that? Yeah, I want to it ruins your life. <laughs> See, I can do that once. Or I just got into my bed father. Well, I really, I would really like to get my friend back to normal. I don't know what to do if she doesn't get normal again. You sure she hasn't just left you, like, she just left the plush in there when you were at the and then she went away or something? I don't think so. She will never do that. Which I think. Maybe it was that she had to return to the spirits, so she left that to remind you of her. Yeah. But, but why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she didn't have a choice. Well, I wonder if it, there's any way to like contact the spirits and ask them. What good do you know anything about that? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a really huge problem. And we don't talk about music. <laughs> we don't talk about music. <laughs> um, but I believe she's been contacted previously. Yes. Oh, I remember. I heard. I heard that. I remember. Yeah. Sheena. Yes. So we need a summer. We need a summer. It's a shame Sheena's not here. Or uh, Salos, if you could talk to Sheena. Um, I don't know how that would work out. Yeah, I was thinking this is. <laughs> he could talk, but that would just be talking for hours and hours. Every time, every time that Salos talks to Sheena, he always has some bruises afterwards. Yep. <laughs> so maybe you're right, maybe that's not a good idea. But Rain, how about you? Could you talk to Shanna for me? Yeah. Later? Yes. Well, that's great. I, 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 like I said, I don't think uh, that solves 
my problem about the mist that I'll leave. Yeah. Um, are you done with searching the mirror? Well, you're uh, holding her like a baby. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to show you how to be a good father. Well, thank you, but my kids are a little bit older. Everyone is so bad behind the kids. Well, technically, how old is one? One person. That's a very old baby. <laughs> well, technically, your daughter is quite old as well. Well, thanks. I'm awesome now. Uh, I didn't mean your daughter, I meant your daughter. Yeah. Uh, your daughter, yeah. She's older than I am. I think she's older than all of us. Well, that actually depends on how you see it, because she gets really bored. Uh, and part of you is almost as old, or older than she is. Yeah. Lava is older, yeah. Maybe Lava can talk to me about Maybe I, I haven't thought about that. Well, maybe at least try to. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm worried too. And Is there somewhere in your body? In our body? Um, we don't talk about you, say. Ludger, you're great, but now you have other problems to worry about, so I wouldn't bother you. <laughs> But seriously, so Salas turned your clock into a makeup mirror. I think he's, he's trying to tell me something, I'm not sure what. Well, I think you're pretty. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you're cute too. I mean, fuck. You have a girlfriend. You, you have a girlfriend. They drew to her. Well, the girlfriend is still. Oh, she, oh. She's not my girlfriend. Oh. And uh, not that I don't want a girlfriend, but I'm not sure it's Mila, but maybe, but no, but let's talk about something else. <laughs> let's talk about Tifo. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Tifo. At least he's not biting my head anymore. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> but I think he has more time for that now, that we quiet. Since he can't talk. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder why he turned silent. He used to be so talkative. Yeah. And now he doesn't talk at all. Maybe he's small or something. But isn't he connected to Alicia? Elise is very sad. Uh, she told me she's sad that Tifo doesn't talk, but maybe she's really sad about Mila turning into a blush. I think we have something here. <laughs> We're on a lead. Well, she's as, at least fine with Alvin babysitting Tifo. Well, I think you're actually kind of, kind of good with pets. Yeah, didn't, didn't you like cats? Yeah. Tifo is like a cat. No. <laughs> oh. I mean, he doesn't do what you say. Oh, you mean like Alvin? Alvin is the best Tifo. Neither of them do what the, I say. Really. No. How do you like a bunny? A bunny? Yeah. Because why are we talking about the animal spirit? <laughs> this is actually kind of a fun conversation. What what animal would all of us be if we were animals? Let's. Uh, let the audience decide that. Okay, we start with Ray. What would she be? Someone just shout out or raise your hand if that feels better or anything. Rain is kind of Rain is really smart. Well, she's always inside ruins, so I think she would be some kind of cave animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, because she's inside uh, like those stone places. Places. So that's why I think in a cave monster or something like that. Argal. Oh. <laughs> is that an animal? Is anything in our games an animal <laughs> to begin with? 
We even have like rabbit pigs. How is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is weirder than a gentleman. <laughs> we don't talk about them. <laughs> Are those animals? Okay, so <laughs> so we're the gull. I don't know if they are smart though. It's a smart gun. <laughs> oh, sorry, Oh my god, she's gonna take over the world. <laughs> are we talking about a golem or a golem? A golem. A golem is a construct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not an animal, it's a construct. Yeah. Well, apparently we could be monsters now. <laughs> the little girl decided that. Well, Sipo, uh, I think Sipo would probably not be a monster or an animal because Sipo is like all the way. Yeah, <laughs> but you. Are you a big rabbit? <laughs> or a rabbit pig? <laughs> yeah. Um, I would like rather not be a poisonous, be the poisonous one. I know one of them is poisonous, but I forgot them. Which of I thought you were the one who know them best. Well, I've been studying a lot lately and I've forgotten lots of things I used to study. <laughs> it happens. Someone is going to complain about you not knowing about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm researching like medicine and ways to improve things in society right now. Well, well, if you're studying history. medicine, then you're studying animals, right? Because you usually take parts of and you something know like what all they are. Listen, you, you, you should know what is poisonous. Yes, that's true. <laughs> well, I have to study harder then. But I've been slacking off a bit ever since we lost our new class last year. And I know it's not a good thing. I know it's a bad thing. I should study, but I, I know love can be complicated sometimes. Love? What? Since when do you understand? It took a time for me to admit that I was in love with Cheria. So I, I know. You mean like a whole game? Yeah. <laughs> well, love your, your makeup mirror. Your makeup mirror. <laughs> Maybe you can make it useful. How is that an animal? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm like a peacock. <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking about like what to do with your makeup mirror because isn't that not really important to you? It kind of is. <laughs> Think we should find those. Yeah, it's not day out there floating with some poor girls. Of course. Maybe I found a spell to make it a mirror. Maybe we'll try to like train on a spell just so we can make a mirror anyway, and then. Uh, he accidentally made it on top. Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But Alvin, wouldn't you like to be to talk with Salos? I mean, your personality. <laughs> I think I think you too will like really connect. Yes. Actually, yes. Well, um, could you go out later and maybe talk to Salos? Stop him from like trying to get all those girls and actually help Lundgren with the problem he started. <laughs> Maybe. But well, so you're making use of it at least. <laughs> but girl, I never took you for someone to look into mirrors every now and then. Well, you know, you gotta look good for all those social links. I mean, episodes. Yeah. Sipo seems really interested in the clock. Don't let me do it. I just say you won't be. <laughs> but that thing is endless. <laughs> maybe if you eat it, you just pop up and do something else. Maybe he can turn the clock back. Like for what it was. I don't know, keep his stomach can be amazing. <laughs> or so hard. <laughs> Well, you should know he's eating you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder what would happen when he eats that you. Fortunately, I've never been in his stomach, though. <laughs> this is turning out to be a very awkward conversation. 
Um, no, 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 no. We were just we were just reading a book together because I like I needed to study and I needed to like be close to Mila, so we read the book together. Um, a book about cinnamon buns. Wait, so a book about you then? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a book album of you. <laughs> what? what? I just got a title called Cinema Mom. <laughs> Great. Maybe you can cook better then. Yeah. Oh, about that. Your food. Yes. You like Cinema Mom. I can do that. Oh, lovely. She can't. Why not? Well, if you want burn ones, go ahead. But I wouldn't call them Cinema Mom, then. Huh? You can't be that bad, right? No, of course not. Oh, the cinnamon buns, but then yes. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's if we go to a get together. A cafe? Yes. As a little touch of Swedish Yes. Because I heard that's like. Turn the tales of a Swedish house. Well, there's a lake Uppsala, isn't there? What did you say? There's a lake Uppsala. Yes. <laughs> True. It's a mysterious country. Definitely. And, and there's a uh, uh, kebab pizza. <laughs> oh, right, right. Hey, Kimaka. <laughs> Kimaka. <laughs> I have so many things about it. Yeah, I even heard that we have to build a map curve. <laughs> I can't so many Swedish words. Yes. Don't forget the Swedish school. That's very disappointing. Maybe if we like feed all these Swedish things to like people. To people. <laughs> Maybe I can get talk to you. Yes. <laughs> this is starting to be a sweet pen. <laughs> Maybe it's <laughs> Not just talk Swedish, um, yeah. <laughs> Most like the Swedish. Oh, should I cook it for people? Yeah. Tipo could eat it. Tipo looks like he's screaming inside. <laughs> That's me all the time. <laughs> oh, well, about that. Uh, <laughs> about that. Have you solved your mom problem yet? Yeah. Maybe don't talk about that. <laughs> right, how about right. you? Have you been tendering with someone lately? We don't talk about tethering. <laughs> you can't really tether with them. I'm not gonna tether with the plushie. <laughs> oh, but I think we need like to talk about Tibo's or Alvin's problem. Because you don't want my problem. But you don't want to babysit forever, right? No. Alvin is not a good babysitter, so I wouldn't let him. Well, I think you're doing great. <laughs> well, I do! I think you are doing great. And like, at least trust you. And you should, should not be the partner. No. That's beautiful. Not again. <laughs> well, well, like I said, we need to solve Tifa's problem too. Does anyone have an idea how to make someone who's silent talk again? I mean, we have that problem before. Oh, right! Oh, it's scary when you need to speak. It's hard to scare people. Yeah. Tipo is not afraid of many things. He's just interested in everything. Tipo, you'll never get to eat my hair. See if she can solve something. I'm just yeah. awkwardly gonna sit here in the middle of this. Are you like, have you started to before I your dentist? Okay, I thought you were looking at this thing. I was going to research it in insights. Do we even have dentists in Telosoft? We should have dentists in Telosoft. 
I mean, our, our teeth must be, get really bad from all the fast food we're eating nowadays. <laughs> we don't even have these stupid shirts. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am a doctor, but I really like sicknesses and stuff. I don't, I don't do teeth. <laughs> Should I do teeth? <laughs> well, I could definitely try studying it. Be the first tennis of that is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was think, thinking longer, your uh, mirror, maybe like it's a magic mirror, maybe like so we can talk again if it stares into it. No. No, that's a shame. If it would have worked, that would have been. He actually wants people to talk again. Shall we try to do that though? She actually looks so cute. Um, what did you say again? Oh, well, so, someone said, said something I didn't hear. Um, the last thing I said was that we really want to be able, able to, to talk again. Not really. I just want Elise to be happy. <laughs> Make a cinema dance, then she will be happy. Didn't something strange happen to you before you turned to yourself? You were visiting somewhere else. Um, England. <laughs> oh, I I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have much recollection of that. But, like I said, like if Tifa was a little bit nicer, then maybe I would. Uh, like, like him to get his voice back again, but he only bites my head. Like, look, he's so smug about it too. Well, maybe I could um, ask Saria to watch Elise for the time. She's very kind. Of Don't me. you guys have enough children to worry about? <laughs> well, if she's just going to be over for a day, she can just talk to her herself. Sherry is very good to talk to her. Yeah. But she failed to talk to you. She pushed me into therapy. <laughs> That's a different story. Maybe you need like a pair of therapy. Couple therapy. <laughs> I need so much therapy, I see. <laughs> Uh, that's the only therapy. Like, you only need therapy and fika. That's all. Therapy and fika. We should have some. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere you have fika when you are on therapy. <laughs> Next to the therapy session, they should totally bring some fika. Yeah. <laughs> like, didn't we used to, in the beginning, I heard, like, they brought the apple gels and orange gels. I, I brought things. Yeah. Yeah. In the summer we had something too. Yeah. Yeah. I made tiger cake. From so in boss. From tigers. Yeah. Oh. From <laughs> right. <what? laughs> um, That's what they call tiger cakes, or? Oh, I suddenly feel ill. M maybe. That's why you shouldn't eat her cinnamon buns. Maybe I'll, I'll cancel our fika and like do the fika when I feel a little better. Like, you know. Um, not to be rude or anything, I just feel a little bit. But you're a doctor, you can just make you unhealed. Yeah, I can make myself unhealed. I thought you two were friends. <laughs> That's not how doctors work. Yes, just heal on yourself. Um, or recover or something like that. Okay. First aid. <laughs> um, well, first I don't, I don't have first any, aid on the heels, right? I don't have any TP. Uh, sorry. Toilet paper. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whatever <laughs> shall we do without the toilet paper? <laughs> All the types of characters need to toilet paper. Maybe good one. Maybe that's why people won't talk because you ate all the toilet paper. <laughs> why would you do that? He did. 
Yeah, 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 and here I thought you weren't talking because Mila turned into a plushie, but you just ate toilet paper. <laughs> That's so anticlimactic. <laughs> and you look so smug about it too. Did it taste good? I bet it did. <laughs> better than you here? My hair had to taste better than toilet paper. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah. Why are you so upset that your hair would taste better than toilet paper? <laughs> Yes. I used to think it really wasn't used. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well that's just this yes. yeah. It's Jeepo. What can we say? <laughs> Wait, so you scared case like you was toilet paper. Okay, so I don't you. It doesn't feel like it's strawberry. <laughs> I use strawberry shampoo. <laughs> Well, but did, but did you swallow huge toilet paper? <laughs> so you're going to a dentist. I'm gonna become one because you can't do that. Uh, if you're going to be a dentist, then you can bet it's going to be on your face. <laughs> like someone, someone has to hold him down. It's not good. You do it. You hold him down. I if, well, if you pay him, you probably will. I thought Alvin was the babysitter. You're actually putting your hand in that. Why it's not? used toilet paper in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, I just, oh no, he has bitten my head so yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Oh, I'm glad I'm over here. Does anyone have strawberry shampoo? <laughs> Well, now you learn something, right? So never eat. Yes, but use toilet paper. Again. He ate toilet paper. Doesn't that mean he probably put his head in a toilet? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so he plays so a you hold him, Alvin. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Alvin, did he do that while you were like babysitting him? On the toilet. Are you sure? <laughs> it feels like something that would happen because all the men And he's trusted you. <laughs> but didn't he already stop talking before Alvin was babysitting him because he's so, babysitting him because he stopped talking? So okay, so if, Alvin is innocent for once. For once. I don't know. It could also be that people stopped talking because of shock. And then he like a toilet paper after <laughs> really the stress. <laughs> That's not a good way to release stress. <laughs> and, uh, I think he released stress by eating you instead. You want something to say again? Yeah. Who did you flush the toilet? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> people flush the toilet. That's a person you want to do it, not not for you. People wanted to be a flush. Yeah, and I think people misunderstood what flush means. Uh, look what you've done. Now I have to become a dentist. But you also have to learn how to flush toilets. <laughs> oh my god. This our party feels so dirty. Lover! Oh my god. Um, you Mila was in his mouth too. Oh no! I shall never forgive me! Oh, now everyone has touched it, but please don't use toilet paper. That's just fantastic. So our therapy now smells like used toilet paper. <laughs> but except that smells more. Yeah, yeah. you can for now. Yeah, for yeah. now. You know what to do. <laughs> I deeply regret it. I didn't know. I didn't know you ate used toilet paper. That's a stress really good <laughs> and bad. That's a big thing. Um, uh, I was thinking about, like, we talked about all of our problems. Which have you solved? 
Which problems have been solved? I don't think any <laughs> problem has been solved. <laughs> Depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Isn't that we, we have leads on several. Yeah. I, I have a lead. I should probably I kinda know what I have to discuss do now. with with Venus. And I have to talk to Cherry and so and Alvin need to take more responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> but Lodger is like you left with your clock. We'll have to find cellulose and ask him to throw it back. Yeah. Well, maybe you can. I can have a look at it at least. I'm not an engineer. Maybe he's he's a, a mage. I can look at it. Stop mage. You look good. Or Rainy can look at it. How did he even do this? <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> um, no, I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. I'm, I'm not an engineer. Maybe yet. Yeah, I can become every, every. I can be like you. I can take every job in the world. Yeah. Are you still doing all those jobs? Ah, yeah. What was the last job you did? Well, you, you better believe that was actually taking it for you. The last job. Alvin, <laughs> what's in your place? Is that why people ate polygon because I was cleaning the toilet? <laughs> Alvin, uh, please tell me you just wash your hands. No, well, that's great. Oh, um, I have things. I don't know. It's so strange. I wonder how Don't let Tibor eat it. It's not a cookie. A golden cookie. Yes. Maybe it's not your clock. Well, it maybe it confused it with someone else. So you replicated to make up the mirror, make a mirror for what reason? <laughs> or well, maybe it, it might not be Svelos. Maybe your brother had a clock that he used for makeup. <laughs> Did someone like steal your clock and like place a replica in this place? I mean, <laughs> Sherry will wonder what the hell I've got here then. Well, we can all go and take a peek at the old so. Yes. This fairy deception is actually good, I think. I mean, <laughs> I mean, except for the poop part. It's in reality. It's terrible now. We taste terrible. Yeah, but I think for standards. And <coughs> I think we're finding I like a bad we actually smell bad too. Yeah. But I think we're finding a deeper friendship along the smell. But we're probably going to be all the influencer friends. Okay, I'm not in that circle. Well, you should not that. I need to smell good. I'm a lord, okay? That's the become poop friends with us. I think I have to move in there. I have to manage the whole city. I can smell like poop. You and I can share strawberry shampoo together. <laughs> I'll just take Sherry. That's fine. Um, um, but it's really like I heard that in the past fair sessions, like we used to ask the audience to dare us to do things. I was still doing that in this party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone there need to touch that. No. <laughs> yeah. No. You you're now welcome to tell us to do things. I heard it's very therapeutic. Yes. I gave you charge people. Look at this welcoming face. <laughs> Why did we invite you? <laughs> oh I'm sure you're gonna be so mad. <laughs> well I guess this is how this has it. You could say it would have been. Now it tastes like food. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear the audience? They just said you could have said no. <laughs> really? We need to come up with something that we have to do if we say no. There. But now you smell like poop. Now you're one of us. <laughs> one of us. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Yes. Kiss, like you really hate us, don't you? What's the difference between the kiss 
So you need to at this point. Okay. Also close your mouth. <laughs> okay, Chief, go, go kiss everyone. You can start with Ray. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, he didn't. Meet your hair? Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you look too. <laughs> she will be so mad. <laughs> I hope she doesn't remember any of this. <laughs> me? Baby, me alone? Yeah? I'm not sure I should do that. But you poop first now, you can be baby didn't you say you share the bed? Yeah, at least we didn't smell like poop in the bed. <laughs> well, what, what's the problem with bathing her then? Well, um, if you share the bed. Um, we, we just read a book together, I swear, that's it. Um, a book about yourself. <laughs> no, about cinnamon bumps. So about yourself. Yeah, it was a picture book about you. <laughs> Lanka, why are you against me? <laughs> I'm bitter, okay? <laughs> yeah, I need to pick up my anger or something. I said it isn't fair, so you, so you choose me. Why don't you choose the husband? Because he just... He doesn't, <laughs> flush, he doesn't flush the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't flush the toilet. <laughs> oh, you can tell me that again and I'll believe it.